honestly, I, 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 I don't know where to begin. Um, <laughs> I just got back from being tested for COVID with my entire family. Uh, the whole process took maybe like an hour and a half to two hours, so it wasn't too awful. Uh, my family got their test results back, and uh, theirs came out negative. And then I got mine. And mine came out positive. So I have the coronavirus, which is fun. Um, from what I know, I am a week in, and there's a chance that the symptoms could get much worse over the course of the next two days. Um, today I woke up and I lost my sense of smell and taste. After having COVID for a week, mild symptoms, mild cough, I woke up this morning and I couldn't smell anything. Like, I could breathe, obviously, but I couldn't smell like my cologne, I couldn't smell my deodorant, I couldn't taste anything. Still can't, but it's beside the issue. Um, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I'm a little worried that it's gonna get worse. And I don't know how to feel. Um, at this point in time, I am being isolated in my old bedroom for sure, like for reals this time. Like prior to my positive test result, I was being careful and being isolated, but I still, you know, put on my mask to go get food downstairs or go to the bathroom or go get some coffee. Um, always have the mask on, always wear hands, put on hand sanitizer, all, all of that stuff. Now that it's confirmed that I'm positive for COVID-19, I am isolated in my bedroom, which means that I have to order food from DoorDash and Postmates and have it delivered to my room. And um, when I go to the bathroom, that's all I can do is just go to the bathroom and come back to the room. Um... I'm hoping within the next two to three days, the symptoms stay as mild as they are. I hope this is the extent of it. I know Lauren is hurting right now with how she is feeling. Um, I'm sure hers is COVID too. And um, yeah, so three people in our family have it as of right now. And uh, I haven't seen anybody besides my cousin Lauren, her boyfriend Andrew, and that's it. You know, I haven't gone out to see friends I in a long time. I haven't seen any strangers, haven't hung out with anybody that isn't my cousin, her boyfriend, in the last three weeks. And uh, came home to Phoenix and found out that I'm positive for it. And uh, I guess we're going to just go along this journey with me you guys are going to go along this journey with me and see how the next week goes they said that mild cases like mine could either get worse or get better within the next seven days so if i regain my sense of smell back within the next couple of days then i'll go get tested again on friday next friday to confirm whether or not i still have it if my symptoms get worse well gotta tough it out and try to not freak out and think negative thoughts um, I know that a couple people have gotten it and some people are just experiencing mild symptoms like I am and um, I'm just really hoping that that is the extent of it uh, you know I never thought that I was immune to it which is why I still took precautions and I still did what I needed to do in order to keep myself and the people around me safe. But like I said in my last video, at the end of the day, like if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it from either like grocery bag, Postmates, Uber Eats, anything you touch that has come in contact with somebody who's have, who has the virus and can be asymptomatic and not show any symptoms, like they could still be a carrier and they could still pass it on. Um, I don't know how I got it. I mean, when I when I was experiencing the sickness at the beginning, I was in Long Beach, and I had been in Long Beach for about three weeks. And then somebody here in Phoenix was also experiencing the same symptoms that I'm experiencing. 
and I hadn't seen that person since my little brother's birthday. And so to be asymptomatic from like November 22nd to, <coughs> to like December 4th and 5th when it began for me, it's crazy how long I had it in me and it didn't like show up until well over two weeks after I got home from Phoenix last time. Um, I guess my only hope is that I, I don't pass it on to my mom and dad and to my brother. Um, Cause that would suck. So I'm gonna stay here in my old room tough it out for the next week and hope that it gets better um, aside from that I'm gonna end this video here I'm gonna make this like its own video because I want to put it out as fast as I can and uh, following the next couple of days the next week we're gonna we're gonna see how things progress which hopefully they don't but considering I just woke up this morning and lost my sense of taste and smell Buckle up, Dennis. Buckle up. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys on the next video. I don't even want to fucking say my intro because it sounds so stupid. I hope you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.